doggone. I've been keeping it natural, dry, no juice, nothing. Oh well. Like they say, beauty is in the nostrils of the beholder. Oh group. Beauty is in the nostrils of the beholder. I ain't gotta wear Brazilian hair to be beautiful. I don't have to wear Remy hair to be beautiful. I don't have to add anything to be beautiful. I can do that when I feel like it though. You know what I'm saying? Hi guys. I can do all that when I feel like it. And when I don't feel like it, then I know about business. Not nobody business. I can look just like this when I want to because the beauty is in the nostrils of the beholder. I behold my own beauty in my mind, in my heart, in my ears, in my nostrils, in my eyeball, in my stomach. I behold my own beauty. Okay? You know, if I had, if I had some thick hair on and I had my eyebrows on fleek, uh, flock, and my, um, for face contour where you don't see my blemishes like the black, the black around my eyeball and stuff like that, like these things that are in my nose that people always calling boogers and stuff like that, you know, if I had all that going on with the big, beautiful earring and all that stuff, you know, with the lace frontal and the fake edges, you know, you know, you know how females, oh my goodness, females, we are just full of it. You know, we wear the lace frontal and we know it, that ain't the hair. That's not the hair our mama gave us. That's not the hair our mama gave us. We get that fake stuff, and we be acting like we better than other females, like, okay? We be acting like we better than females who are walking around looking like me, okay? Then we try to make comment. How the hell you want to make comment on my looks when the hair on your head is not the hair that your mama had brought you in this world with? No, if you want to make comments about my look, Take off that lace front us, okay? Take off that synthetic hair you got your hair braided with. Take it off. Then, then we can fairly describe each other physical appearance, okay? Don't say nothing about my edges being thin when you know yours is coming from the fake lace frontal and you done, you done work a little miracle with it, put super glue, gorilla glue on it so it look then slick it all down so it look like it's your own edges. We know, we honey, we know it's not your own, okay? Okay? Not everybody can go to Dubai and buy it. Is that where they buy it from? Not everybody can go and find the 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 the, the, the nicest horses out there to take the to rip the tail off and make the hair fine and put it on your hair, okay? Not everybody can go to China, Japan, and go all around the world and go on the website, Google, find fine hair, and just pay six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen hundred dollars for hair, okay? And then when you finish paying for the expensive hair, you don't want a man to touch it. How dare you? You should let a man touch it. Who you wearing it to look fine for, huh? Who you wearing a fake hair to look fine for, yourself or the man? You look, you wearing it to look fine for the brothers. <laughs> You're not wearing it to look fine for yourself. I know when you finish wearing it, you feel good because when you look in the mirror, you think that's all you. But no, man, when we come home, you take that off, you wash the makeup, makeup off, that's you right there. So don't, don't. Don't be acting like you all that when you wear the fake hair and come out, okay? When you see a natural, plain looking sister like myself, don't be looking on, don't be looking down on us. Don't you dare be looking down on us, okay? At least we got the confidence to come out looking raw and natural. And this is true beauty. Like I said, beauty lies in the nostrils of the beholder. Beauty lies within, not without. So just because you got a $500 lace frontal and you the slick your little fake edges and it's looking all, all like, uh, like, like, like you was born like that. 
You were not born like that because when you take it off, sir, you, you're going to lose some more edges, you know? I've seen my sister's hair, man. I wear lace frontal, but I'm sorry, I'm not gluing that thing to my forehead. I'm not gluing it to my forehead because I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen some sisters, especially the ones who don't know what they are doing. Because if you wear lace frontal and you don't know what you're doing, you will rip all your little edges out. You see my edges right here? I barely got it. It's very thin, okay? Imagine that. And then I start wearing lace frontal and putting uh, Gorilla Glue all under it to stick it there. Every time I take it off, my hair, hairline will keep receding and going further and further back. No, I'm not dealing with that, okay? Me and you, me and your lace frontal with your creative high definition edges that you already slicked down. We can go out together, honey. We can go out together. The brother who wants a natural sister is going to look at me and ask me for my number and probably marry me faster than he's going to marry you and your little uh, high definition uh, lace front to high definition edges with high definition Gorilla glue and all that stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because some of these brothers, they want their face too. But there are some brothers who want a real woman. We are all real. Let me not say that. We are all real women. Okay, some of us, we just, we just don't care. We just don't care, okay? I'm just saying, when you wear all your little face stuff, don't be looking down on us. Don't be talking about us. Don't be staring down your nostrils at, at us. Don't, especially them side chicks. Them will be the mean ones talking about that man wife, Okay. Just because that that's that that wife got five or six children and she ain't got she ain't she don't have money to spare to spend and waste and you know and waste on these five hundred dollars six hundred dollars thirteen hundred dollar fake hair and high definition edges just because she don't have that money to spare anymore doesn't mean that you must stare down your nose at her and be talking about her and be like I don't know what he doing with that right there he don't even she don't even compliment him oh look at her when they come out she be looking all busted look at her hair. Look at her hair, baby girl. She need to do something with her hair. Uh-uh. Stop talking about that man wife, okay? Because it's probably his money that he try to, you know, be nice to you so you can feel happy that you're being used. He try to spend a little bit of money on you so you can feel like you you can feel happy that you're being used to add a little bit of value to you to, to you while you're sitting on the curb and riding undercover, riding dirty, so you can feel a little bit better by yourself. So you go and do extra because you want to look better than the wife. But the look is on the outside, honey. It's not on the inside. It's not on the inside. It's not on the inside. So stop preaching when you know everything got going on with you is fake. It's fake. Stop talking about that woman. She's planning for her children's future, Madam Sajik. She's planning for her children's future. She knows what it means to be a wife. She's budgeting. She's not going to retire and depend just on social security and be sitting at Walmart at the door talking about, hi, oh, welcome to Walmart. She's not going to be doing that. She got a plan with her, with her dollars, okay? She got some plans with her dollars. Right now, the only plan you got is to be, you know, sneaking around with, with people's husband and wearing your high-definition lace frontal with the high-definition uh, 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 edges slicked down with Gorilla Glue and then acting like you all that when you see other females who ain't got all that going on. Even if some, look, listen right here. Some females like me, I'm not going to spend no three, four, five hundred, six, or seven hundred dollars on no weave. If I want to, I call it 911. A lot of people call it 911. I'm not going to spend that much money on 911. If I want to use it, I'm going to go to a local beauty supply store. And if you, if, if, if the Una holler anything, anything over $70, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Okay. That's why it's called 911. You just use it. You, but you slap it on your head when you don't feel like doing nothing with your hair. You go to church. As soon as you get in the car, you take it off and put it down. Shoot. You can throw it in the trunk, throw it in the back seat, throw it anywhere. When you're ready, you just shake it off, dust it off, brush it, and just spray a little bit of ocean on it and put it on your hair. You're good to go. You are good to go. Okay? Don't be talking about us who, when we wear our little wigs and weave caps and whatsoever, don't be talking about, ooh, that looks so fake. How dare you?
Yours is real because it came from somebody else's hair. Eh? Because somebody else donated their hair and you pay all that money for it. Honey, it's not, it's not in your scalp, okay? Those are not your own natural born follicles that you bluffing with okay so don't be talking about our cheap little weave cap and stuff that's what we comfortable with okay and in fact we're probably a little better than you